What is going on guys? Gray here today. I'd like to talk about the weapon conversion kits and how a lot of people in the community feel like they're just really not as useful as they hope they would have been. When it comes to uh, the conversion kits in general, I think a lot of players are kind of let down by how Sledgehammer really built these up to transform these guns into something completely different. And right now they're just kind of a letdown. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, if you enjoy the video, hit the like button. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Now, if you look at what we have available to us as of right now, before season one, we have the MCW uh, mod kit, or you know, the conversion kit, the DG58 LSW kit, the Akimbo WSPs, uh, the bullpup for the Pulimot LMG, which I probably pronounced completely wrong, and of course, the... Um, Renetti conversion kit. Now, out of all of these, the Renetti is probably the most popular, the one you see people use more. But honestly, you don't really see it that often. When it comes to the Renetti conversion kit, while it does probably make it one of the best secondaries in the game, or probably one of the best SMGs in the game, the accuracy and recoil is so bad, a lot of people choose to just use the regular Renetti. That's pretty much what I've been doing. I think the regular Renetti pistol is a lot better because you can control it a lot better. You can kill people in pretty much two bursts with it compared to if you use the submachine uh, sub version of the conversion kit. It's not really uh, accurate and has tons and tons of recoil. So you don't really see a lot of people using it. So that's kind of a letdown. When it comes to Akimbo WSPs, if you're someone that likes to run around with dual wheel weapons, and that's always been a thing in Call of Duty, a lot of these maps, in my opinion, are way too big. There's only certain areas that this really works where you can be really, really close to uh, you know other players. That's kind of a niche thing, I think. I, I don't really think the Akimbo WSPs could really be improved upon unless they gave you a little bit, maybe tighter hit fire spray and a little bit more range or something like that. But overall, I don't really think that it's the Akimbo WSPs are that bad. I just think it's the map size is kind of hurting that whole idea of having a conversion kit for that. Uh, the MCW. Now, that's one of the best guns in game in a lot of people's opinion. It may not be the fastest killing gun in game. It may not have the most damage, but it is definitely one of the most accurate. And when you put the conversion kit on it, it goes from being a really good gun to not really good range, a lot of bounce to it, a lot of recoil to it, and it's not really that satisfying to use. I used it a good bit uh, once I unlocked it, and I kind of just took it off and went back to the regular build. And I don't think that the MCW um, conversion kit is really worth using. When it comes to the DG58 LSW, the mod kit or the conversion kit for it makes it pretty much unusable. Uh, the range is absolutely horrible and the recoil is unbelievable. It is very, very strong. And so you don't really see a lot of people using the conversion kit once again for that because it's hurting the weapon stats so much and not really giving you any advantage to using just the base weapon or a different base weapon. And when it comes to the Polymont Bullpup um, kit, in the beta, this one was a lot of fun to use, but it feels like something's not right here. A lot of people have been saying that the movement and handling uh, that you're getting, the buffs to that, you know, are, are not working correctly. Uh, the, you know, you're supposed to be able to get that buff to movement, buff to handling, you know, it shortens the barrel. It really is supposed to make it more of a AR style gun, and then instead of make, it might not make you feel like you're running around with a big bulky LMG. Now I have used it more than I have used any of the other conversion kits, but I will say it feels like it is inconsistent at times movement wise, and it feels like it's inconsistent at times uh, just for bullet damage. It feels like sometimes you can kill people with it fairly well, and sometimes it feels like the bullets aren't registering correctly. And of course that could be a server issue. But the main thing is the movement and handling. I do see what people are talking about when they say it feels like the movement and handling and all that is not working as intended because it does not feel like you're moving as quick as you were in the beta uh, once you had this conversion kit equipped. Hopefully Sledgehammer will work on these conversion kits and future conversion kits because the way they talked about it before the game was released was these conversion kits were go or were going to completely change how uh, the guns in the game work. They're going to make them feel like a completely new weapon. And that was a really cool idea. A lot of people in the community thought, well, this will be something new. Once you get a weapon to max level, you can do a challenge, get a conversion kit, and have a different kind of version of this gun, 
but also it would be very powerful compared to the base version. You know, it's not going to be worse than the base version. And I think a lot of people are looking at all these conversion kits making the guns worse than the base version we have available in game. And and all honesty, why would you really want to use something that's making the gun perform worse than making the gun perform better? Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the conversion kits. Let me know which one you have unlocked, which ones you like or don't. And of course, I'll catch you all next time. Peace.